I want to go to London where we're joined by Federal Liberal National Member for Groom, Garth. Garth, welcome. Uh, you're at there attending the ARC conference uh, in London. But before, before we go to that, let's chat about what's happening in Queensland and the poll numbers have come through. Uh, Right now, we've got wall-to-wall -wall state Labor governments across the country, except for Tasmania, and we have Labor federally. But how long is that going to hold? This time next year, Queenslanders will be preparing to vote in a state election. They will likely, according to the latest polling, turf Labor out. The latest YouGov poll shows that Anastasia Palaszczuk is no longer Queensland's preferred Premier. That's for the first time in a long time. It shows that Palaszczuk's net satisfaction rating is now negative 20. It also is showing that the coalition has extended its two-party lead over Labor to 52% to 48%. Um, of course, we're still a long way away, but uh, why do you think the, the polls have turned against Anastasia Palaszczuk? I'm glad they have. Uh, they've been a long time coming. I think it's taken a while for us to get out of that COVID phase and maybe for people to have a look around Queensland and see the state of affairs that we're in. Uh, look, they are good numbers for the LNP. They're good numbers for Queensland. Uh, but look, we've got a long way to go. As you say, this is a good 12 months uh, before the election. We've got a Premier who's shown every bit, just like Andrews or McGowan, she's willing to do whatever it takes to stay in power. So they're good numbers. But does it mean the end of Labor? No, it doesn't. I think it just means things are going to get very nasty in the Labor camp. Now, Garth, the uh, University of Queensland is offering their Aboriginal students and staff what they call care sessions. This is special leave of up to five days, uh, as well as things like safe spaces and extensions for assignments that are due all in recognition of the stress the failure of the voice referendum may have imposed on them. What are your feelings towards this? Well, look, I remember when I was a university student, I certainly had a lot of stress. Um, didn't have too many safe spaces, though. Uh, plenty of things going on at university that preoccupied me there. But uh, goodness me, I, I can't see how this is beneficial to anybody. I don't see how this isn't a continuation of the division. Uh, that is the problem in the first place. The, the thing that we were warning the government about, the very uh, issue at hand, the division that this referendum would cause. Um, look, this is, on, this is in the government's hands completely. This is what they did. This is what they wanted. They were warned not to do it, and they did it. But do we need to take special time off uh, for this? No. No, I think, actually, this is the most important time uh, in Australian politics. Uh, we need to get together. We need to get together and get over this. And, and look at the things that unite us, the things that are far more important, Rita, uh, that are you know, things we share together as Australians. Uh, taking you know, this, this time out, that's not going to help that. It's not going to help anybody. Well, I think it's also really a patronising message to be sending to your Aboriginal students and staff and the wider Absolutely. community, suggesting that they're so fragile that they need time off work or extensions on their projects uh, because of a referendum result and also presuming that they voted yes uniformly when we know that's just simply not the case. Now, before you, uh, I let you go, you're attending the ARC Alliance for Response Responsible Citizenship Conference, along with many other solid Australians. Tell us about what this conference uh, is all about and uh, where Australia fits in. Well, it's great to get together with Ceterite friends from around the world, uh, the UK, the US. Good to see there's still a few of them uh, in New Zealand uh, now, Rita. A good result there for us. Not so good in their rugby. <laughs> yeah, a few I more now. My New Zealand friends. But... Uh, yeah, look, uh, it, it's great to come together because there's a lot going on and there's a lot happening uh, in politics around the world that I think Australia needs to understand its role in. Uh, look, we've, we've, we've seen, uh, obviously, the, the Ukraine situation. Now we've got Israel. It's important we stand together. Uh, we're all seeing inflation around the world. I think it's really important now, really, we come to a point where we take a centre-right approach to dealing with inflation. Uh, and, you know, what might have been right during COVID is no longer the answer. You know, spending in Australia is higher now than it was pre-COVID. Uh, I, I don't think anyone would agree that's the right thing, but it's up to centre-right governments, centre-right parties around the world uh, to lead the way on that, and that's part of what we're doing here.